Well, I thought uh, I thought we came out of the blocks pretty well. I mean, we played hard early. You know, I thought we had great effort throughout the entire game. There's sometimes you lose games, sometimes you get beat, and we thoroughly got beat today. So, you know, there's nothing. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it with the ball club. It's just one of those games where they played better than we did. You know, we didn't execute pitches. It's the first game all year we didn't pitch. I'm not going to panic about it. I know we're, I know we can pitch. I know the guys out of the bullpen will be different than that next time. Um, you know, it's just one. It's one of those games. Like I said, if you make a big deal out of it, it's going to become a big deal. Um, I thought our effort, for the most part, was really good. I thought Texas Tech played outstanding. Massive coming out of that bullpen. You know, we were right there in the game, and he comes out of the bullpen um, throwing fastball. His slider's filthy. I mean, that guy's one of the better relievers. He's got to be one of the best relievers in the country. I mean, he, he threw it really well. We couldn't do anything. How big a turning point do you think the play at third goes against him? Well, it killed momentum, you know. Um, you know it, was, it was a big play in the game. It was a critical point in the game. And the ball didn't go our way. I wish it would have gone the other way. I obviously thought it should have gone the other way. Um, but, you know, that's baseball. It's a judgment call. And he judged that we were out, so you got to deal with it. You know, I thought we responded well after that. We kept playing hard. I was hoping it would ignite us a little bit. But, you know, Texas Tech's got a good ball club. Coach Spencer's done a really nice job with that program. And he's got a good team. Have you ever, uh, well, talk a little bit about Massick and kind of what he had working to get you guys off. Uh, his fastball and slider. You know? he, he didn't throw a slider for strikes a lot of the time, but he was doing it on purpose. He had command of it. You know, we were chasing him out of the zone. Um, you know, we laid off of it um, the last couple of innings and just told him not to swing at it. Um, and then he just he hit it when he was hitting his fastball. And uh, he's, I mean, he's, he threw two pitches. He got, you know, he's probably low mid 90s, I would think. And that slot is hard. So I guess really good. How did Price get hurt? Because I, at, in the second, I see he tried to punch and then he came out, so we didn't know if he got hurt or for. No, he didn't get hurt. Okay, well, that's, that's what, was, uh, what was the reason for pulling I mean, just, you know, <laughs> I mean, he, he had to come out of the game. Um, Violation of team policy. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, during no, the game, we just felt like we need to make a switch right there. Uh, okay. Switch it up a little bit. So, so it's just for when we when you get back, say guys, just look what we did Friday and Saturday. Look what the focus would be. What yeah, exactly what I told them. We had a good weekend. You know, there's no, you know, winning two out of three is a great weekend in this tournament. I've seen a lot of teams come in here and get and get worn out three times. I thought we played well. You know, if we if we lost on Friday and we won the last two, we'd feel great about the weekend. You know, anytime you lose a Sunday game, you you know, you're not happy, but. You know, overall, I thought it was a great weekend for us. The competition here, as always, was really good. Um, it gave me a good idea of where we're at as a, as a team. And I like what I see so far. What did you, what did you think of Garza? And, and then to talk about it when you came to get him. Just uh, he obviously didn't have trouble that inning. Yeah, I mean the inning before I thought was his best inning. I mean he had he was rocking and rolling out there. You know we give up the, we make the error at shortstop, which I mean it was it was a hit. But if we make that play, I mean Jake did a great job of getting to that ball and just got you know he kind of rushed it through the thing away. And the big double after that, you know, things start to spin out of control for him then, as will happen with a freshman pitcher sometimes. So, you know, we'll, we'll pat him on the butt, send him back out there next Sunday you know, against Ole Miss. I'm glad he got in this environment before we go down to Oxford because it'll be a lot more hostile there. So this is a good experience for him. Talk a little bit more about Ole Miss. I mean, tough tough environment next week, another SEC team. Yeah, it is. I mean, that Coach Bianco's got a good ball club. You know, they're going to be really good. It's, I've been there before. Um, the fans are rowdy. It's loud. It's a great SEC team um, that we're going to get to play against. Um, I think we match up with them pretty well. You know, if we, if we come with our A game, I think we'll be fine. You know, we've proven to this point that we have a little bit of pitching, so we should have to go in there and keep doing what has, has had what we've done to have success in the mound at this point. You guys have played pretty good defense so far. Any concerns with how it went down today? No, not really. I mean, we're still it's kind of a, it's kind of a toss up to third right now. I'm going to give both those guys an ample opportunity to play it. I um, thought Taylor White's played it really good at times. Kendall Stacks has played it good at times. So, you know, we'll still, they're still fighting for, you know, who's going to nail that thing down right now. But, you know, Jake Runch is playing great shortstop. Jensen's is doing good at second base. And, and, and Casey continues to get back and win it first. Have, uh, last two, have you ever ran that fast out of the dugout? And two, are you surprised that you stayed in the game? <laughs> no, I, I, one thing I think I've, I've learned is, you know, when to stop. Uh, you know, it was getting close to me being up, not, not getting to see the rest of the game. So you know, I, I got my point across. It's baseball. It's part of it. No hard feelings. It's the way it goes. Um, I thought we, I didn't think we got the right end of that call, but you know that's that's just part of it. And, you know, it's, uh, we'll just move on to the next. What day. happened to trigger the trainer getting thrown out? Uh, that I have no idea. I haven't talked to him. <laughs> yeah, what's it, what's it like? How's it, how tough is it for you to have that situation? to come over here right as that happened and do a TV interview. <laughs> yeah, I had, to, I had to really take a couple of deep breaths because I had to go right on the air, and I was boiling at that point. So I had to uh, use the mental game, take a few deep breaths, and get myself together to do that. <laughs>